Hello and welcome to the live streaming of CGTN. I'm reporter Zheng Yibing here in the Beijing Exhibition Hall in the center of the city. Well, in the distance, we can see the, the opening ceremony just held for the grand event of the Nuclear Industry China 2020. This is an annual event, an annual expo held by the Chinese Nuclear Society. And this afternoon, we are going to see some of the grand exhibits here. Uh, back in two years ago, I once visited the expo. At that time, there were a lot of the amazing exhibits, but two years have passed. There were a lot of the achievements and the development uh, in the industry of nuclear in China. So let's take a look. Two years ago, I met a girl whose name is Li Hui, who's from the CNNC, the China National Nuclear Corporation, and we meet her again. Uh, Li Hui, you Hey. So uh, I'm very glad to meet you here. And uh, this afternoon, uh, we know that uh, back to the uh, two years have passed. What kind of the achievements, what kind of the development, the Chinese society of the nuclear, the, this industry has changed? Yeah, if everything's well, uh, the critical state of the demonstration project of Follow One Nuclear Technical will come soon. Well, yes, we know, we all know about the Huanlong One technology. This is a third generation um, nuclear reactor developed by China, by the Chinese company. So this is a model. Please yeah. introduce to our audiences here. Okay, uh, here's the model of Huanlong One. We call uh, the part Nuclear Island. Uh, uh, this part is called a Nuclear Island. This is a professional, this is a kind of jargon, right? Yes, the highest one is the reactor building, known as double shell containment. Okay. Uh, it's quite full. The outer shell can withstand the external disaster, such as aircraft crash. Well, yes. this is a really uh, huge and giant design. This one is a this crust and is a holder of the nuclear reactors. So what about the inside of these parts? Uh, this part, we can see the lights are turning on. That means the plant is operating. Ah, the, the, the plant is operating right now. Uh, yeah, right now. And we can see this is the core part. Uh, this is the reactor core. Ah. Uh. Yes. And there, in in the containment, there are three steam generator. Oh, the, the three three steam generators. Uh, so this is this is a steam generator, right? Yes. Yes. And there's also three main pump. Ah, uh, three main, main pump. Oh, pump. Right. Okay. okay. And uh, uh, the three elements makes up a sealed primary loop. I, I got a question. So so far we see the nuclear island, we see the containment container, and we see also the the core of the nuclear reactor, the steam generator, and also the main pump. Yeah. But what's the uh, the way of the functioning of this container? Okay, uh, so pressure water after the main pump entering the reactor core mm. to take away the heat generated by the. Uh, Nuclear fission reaction. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, the heat water uh, goes through the steam generator. Okay. And at the same time, uh, the heat water transfers the heat to the secondary loop. Okay. Yes. So this is quite an amazing. So after the pressured water is setting to the core of the reactor, and then the steam was generated, and then the steam was um, was transmitted to some other parts of the system. So we always heard that it's called turbine, right? Yes, uh, the turbine is not shown here. Can you show us? No, no, that's, that, this is a nuclear island. Okay. The turbine is in, in other place. In other place. Okay, so not after the turbine, here. the power was generated. Yes. Okay, this is quite an amazing design. And we heard that the uh, the Huanlong One technology, the Huanlong One, the first unit is going to start operation very soon in Southeast China's Fujian in Fuqing, that city. So to tell us something about it, what's the status right now? When is going to start operation? Um, if everything's well, it will be operating at the end of the year. Yes, and last month, the first fuel loading is complete, com completed. Oh, yes. okay. So I also have a question, how many years um, the people in the CNNC, I mean, China National Nuclear Corporation has developing the technology? Since the 1990s? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so after years of the research and development, finally the power unit is, go is going to come to, uh, come to the world and uh, generate the, the uh, electricity. 
So um, besides the uh, generating powers, what, what else you can tell us about the uh, nuclear technology and nuclear applications? Um, we can look, um, have a look there. Okay. Yeah. There's a, a small nuclear power plant. Wow. Yes. This is another model. Yes. We, so we let us come Yen closer. Long. Oh, which is called Yanlong. Yes. So what's the what's the meaning of this Yanlong? Um, we, we can. Okay. Um, so we it. have the we, we have another uh, an instructor who who tell is going to tell us what's 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 going on here. Ah, uh, 你好，能给我们介绍一下，呃，这个地方的话，这个低温供热的是怎么回事吗？嗯，是中文还是英文？呃，so uh, uh, please in English. Oh, uh, English. Is yes. Okay. Yan okay. is for the northern part of China. So, uh, in Dynasty, yes. we, we call it Yan. The, the, the area is Yan. And uh, for Dragon Long is uh, is a type of the uh, CNMC mm. uh, re reactor or, uh, types. Mm. So we call it Yan Long in Chinese, but in English we call it uh, DHR four hundred. Oh. It, it, it means district heating uh, reactor, four hundred megawatt. The thermal power is uh, 400 megawatts. Yes, I got also, also got this question. So this kind of the power unit is built within a residential compound, very next to the residential building. Yeah. Is it safe? Yes, it's safe enough because it's uh, atmospheric uh, pressure. Okay. And, uh, and it, uh, if it's shut down, it can uh, keep, uh, how to say, it can keep uh, Covered. It can the core can keep okay. covered for more than twenty six days. All right, all right. And so, from your introduction, thank you so much for the introduction. I know that about the Yanlong means uh, a kind of a power unit, which is widely applied in northern part of China, it's especially uh, in Beijing or the uh, northern hemisphere. It's the yeah. colder places, so the for the heating system. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for the introduction. Okay. Thank you. Ah, Li Hui, this is really interesting. So, uh, besides the generating power and also the uh, heating up the uh, residential building, so uh, I, I just wondering, I just wondering, what kind of the fuels they would use in a reactor? Oh. Can you tell us? Yeah. Uh, for example, in Huarong One, we use our uh, Chinese uh, fuel assemblies. Mm. Uh, it has the property rights. Oh, self independent property rights. Okay. Yes. Um, you can see here. You oh, can here. here we come. This is the model. CF3 this is model, one of the which model. Is used in Huarong One. Okay. Yes. So, uh, we, can, oh. we can ask our professional staff to introduce the. All right. Examples. So, we will ask this as a professional instructor to tell us what's going on here. What's this model? Uh, sir, please introduce. Can you introduce this model? 模型是怎么一回事吗好的那个我给各位电池观众简单的介绍一下这款组件叫cf三燃料组件是我国首个具有完全自主制造能的第三代大型核电燃料组件它被誉为中国核电最强心它在这个核价设计还有这个导向管还
Okay. So the uh, the time for change to replace the uh, the used uh, the fuel uh, assembly is about one and a half years, and eighteen months. That's the the general custom of the international standard, according to the international standard. Okay. Thank you very much, sir, about your introduction. Thank you. Uh, Li Hui, <laughs> well, this is a really amazing idea. Uh, this is not the first time I see it, but um, this one, it is much bigger and taller, yeah. uh, quite similar to the dual real one. Okay, so usually we see that in the, uh, in, the, in the blue water pool and inside, and it is a kind of the view assembly, right? Okay, so um, uh, during this, um, earlier this year, I got another and very strong impression because uh, I interviewed one of the companies of the CNNC of your company. This is because during the COVID-19 pandemic, um, it is really hard for people to to produce the uh, the facial mask and also the protective garment very soon because if there is a, a necessary process of sterilization. So uh, CNNC used the radiation to to help this to sterilize those parts. I got a really strong impression about that. It helps a lot of uh, medical staff to, to save their life. Okay, so here in front of us there are some kind of the uh, medical devices. So could you introduce some, yeah, something this like is that? Dharma knife, also use uh, nuclear technology. It mm. can, can uh, lots of disease. Okay. Also, uh, lots of disease can be used the gamma knife Yes, yes, this is a gamma knife. Um, actually, the nuclear technology is not only used in generating power, the heating system in various sectors in our life, but also uh, this kind of thing is called a gamma knife. It is used um, in the hospitals and usually for the treating the sterile tactic video, video surgery. Uh, in front of us, there is a gentleman. Uh, could, could you introduce something about this uh, gamma knife? Can you introduce this gamma knife? Chinese. Yes, yes, this gamma knife is a use of the gamma knife. It's used to use 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 the gamma knife. 呃，驱鬼，使之坏死，然后达到治疗的目的。So okay. this gamma knife is not is really familiar with uh, among the people because um, it's used as a radioactive to to detect uh, the certain uh, diseases in the people's brain and to get rid of that. It is also used by the uh, uh, nuclear power technology and its applications is one of that. Thank you very much. Oh. And we also see there is another uh, medical uh, facilities here. This is really big. Uh, this so, is please. Therapy. Ah, so what is that? What is that? Can you explain? Basically, this the perfect stuff that introduced the thermal therapy. Okay. Okay, so this is a really complicated for us. This uh, this uh, this kind of equipment is our now uh, Zhonghan Kui Company's new equipment, a specially used for treating the gamma rays. So this equipment's main feature is called we. 专注于它的精准治疗，那么尤其是在我们在每次呃肿瘤的放射治疗前，我们要做一次图像引导，就是 CT 的图像引导，那么来确保我们的肿瘤的位置一定是我们在肿瘤要计划治疗的这个位置，那么确保我们的这样的精准度，然后再进行实时治疗，这样能大幅度的降低我们患者。在呃这个肿瘤治疗的时候，这些正常组织受到的这种剂量，来去提高他们的这种生存的质量和降低他们的副作用。OK。那么现在这款设备呢，我们在呃国内的这个安装量已经达到了这个全国的四十三台。那么基本上在很多知名的大型的肿瘤中心都有安装，比如说像。啊，北京协和啊，还有上海复旦。Okay. 那么，即使在国际上，像是 MD Anderson 也有三台以上的这样的装机量。OK。再比如说香港啊，养和医院，那么也是有三台这样的装机，基本上是一个非常成熟的一个肿瘤放射治疗的一个设备。Mm. Uh, Thank you very much for the introduction about the specialty party here. Uh, for people, uh, we really know, we really, really know about the technology is used in other parts of the society for generating the powers, but here. Few people know this is actually is a nuclear power uh, technology. Thank you so much for the introduction. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So well, from the, this this gentleman's introduction, we know that this kind of the 
uh, tomotherapy. There are 43 devices applied in China in all kinds of hospitals. So uh, this is really amazing. And your company and the nuclear technology is really amazing. Thank you so much for the introduction. And what, what else um, I can see during this expo this year? Display in the hall. Mm. Uh, there's also uh, there's also other uh, corporations there. Okay, I so uh, I see another exhibition hall. So what about the, this this hall after the the introduction part is a CNNC? It's also about the nuclear technology. Ah, oh, yes. thank you so much for the all the introduction of the two of our audiences. Thank you very much. Hope to see you next year. Okay, bye bye. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, we're doing the live streaming in Beijing Exhibition Hall and in here in the center of the Chinese capital. And this afternoon we come to this expo which is called the Nuclear China uh, 2020. We just visited the booth of CNNC or the China National Nuclear Corporation after we see so many applications, so many devices and so many uh, in various fields, not only in generating powers, but also in other fields, for, exam for example, the medical treatment, and also the heating up system for the residential buildings. And also along this corridor, we see other the companies, for example, the uh, China Nuclear Energy Industry Corporation. There are also some other displays. But right now, what I'm trying to do is to show you another power unit designed by a Chinese companies, which is called Guo He One. Besides Hualong One, there's Guo He One. So what's the difference between them? They are also the third generation nuclear power technology. So come, follow me. This is a, a this is SBISC. This is State Power Investment Corporation. Hi, hey, hello. <laughs> 哎，是这样子，我们是先，我们是那个就是CCTV的记者，我们想让您给我们介绍一下国和一号是怎么样的一个情况啊。So we we actually come here for the uh for to show our audiences what's the uh the third generation nuclear technologies developed by Chinese companies and especially after the tour with Huanong One technology. So this is a Guohe One. Please introduce to us. Okay, uh, Guohe One is the China advanced. Pressurized. Yeah. Pressurized water reactor, right? Yeah. So this is quite a similar way to the previous one. Okay. So there's a model here. This is the model of the. This is the model of Boha One, and uh, we see the three main buildings, which is the auxiliary building and the containment building, the cylinder cylinder one. Oh. And all the reactors will happen here. Uh, this is the turbine building. Turbine building. Turbine building. It's a very brief introduction, very precise, very clear. So I got a question. So when people talked about the third generation nuclear power units, they usually talked about a passive system. So yeah. what is the passive system? Okay, passive, syst passive syst safety system is like we use the power of the natural, nature power, such as the gravity mm. and the air conduction, the thermal conduction to reduce, reduce the thermal energy. If, if there's an accident happened, there will be a temperature will increase, a oh. lot, lot of thermal energy. So we use such as the, at the top of the containment, there's uh, water. The water oh. will flow using the gravity okay. to reduce the temperature. So to prevent the most severe accidents. Happen. So it draws lessons from the Fukushima Daiichi yeah, accidents such, yeah, Fukushima in a year ago. Uh, yeah, Fukushima accident happens because the, there's no power supply. Okay. Uh, the, the electricity will shut down totally. So the third generation reactor has draw lessons from the Fukushima Daiichi accidents yeah. and then use the passive system even without electricity, even without the automatic system control, right? Yeah, that's right. We use, uh, we can 72, 72 hours with mm. no human operation. And we know the research and development of Google One has just um, finished. It was finished in the end of the September. Yeah. It just finished. So uh, how long does it take? Is it a take to yeah. to to do the research and development? Okay, we we take about twelve years. Twelve years. Two thousand and eight. Okay. And Google One is one of the sixteen programs uh, listed in China uh, science and technology major projects. 
Okay. It's supported by by Chinese government. Thank you, thank you so much for the introduction to this park. Thank you, thank sir. You, thank okay. You. So it is very clear we uh, we have seen another third generation nuclear power units on both on uh, both kind of the Huanlong One and the and the Guohe One. They have the very special system, which is called the passive system. Um, it is only used when the nuclear power unit met some technical problems, even when the electricity is running out, even when there's no, uh, when the automatic system control system uh, doesn't work, they can also use the pressured water to get heat from the uh, reacting core in, in order to prevent the malt of the reacting core. So that is a really advanced technology at the current time. So also in this exhibition hall, there is um, uh, China, a general nuclear a corporation that is a partner of the CNNC. But both companies is building, both, build, both companies are building the China, China's one one technology and it tries to achieve the greater goal. And we're walking through the exhibition hall, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions on China's um, technology of third generation one one on CNNC and also the CGN. So please leave your questions to us and let us to explain. Now we are heading towards another exhibition hall, which is very, very fantastic. In this exhibition hall, we could see some very famous brands, for example, the Western House and also the Sun companies from France, because these two countries are the uh, laid a very solid foundation for the nuclear power units in, in the current time. So let's take a look. This is a grand hall. And even here right now in China, there is a China nuclear power city in southeastern part of China. And um, within this city, there are lots of the companies and the producers, um, the companies that are producing the elements for the nuclear power, power units. Oh, we see some kind of the international ex exhibi exhibitors. There are different ones. And now I'm going to a very famous US company, which is called the Westinghouse. Usually in our home, we use some kind of, some kind of the medical uh, or some kind of the electricity apparatus like the produced by the Westinghouse. But uh, generally, it is very known, it is very famous for its um, um, technology for the nuclear power units. So let's come closer. Let's take what they are doing right now. This is kind of the instructor that is introducing to people about the AP-1000 that is very mature nuclear power unit produced by the Westinghouse of the United States. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm Zheng Yibing from CDTN. So um, I'm just wondering because the Westinghouse is really famous and in leading the technologies in the industry. So what brings what you bring today? Today. So what we bring is uh, an innovative uh, plant that is the safest in the industry by far. Um, it is a plant that we're very proud of. And it's quite a journey that Westinghouse has been on since we developed the first nuclear industry commercial reactor uh, many, many, many decades ago. Mm. We have come a very long way mm. with the industry. Oh. And once again, it's the safest power plant in the world. Yes, and another question is you've been working with all of Chinese nuclear power units or the companies, for example, the CNNC or the CGN. So what's your comments between, uh, I mean, What's your comment on the relationship between the Chinese company and the U.S. company in this sector? So we've had a strong relationship for, for over 15 years, of which we have had very, very good technology transfer information and cooperation that's with all of the Chinese community, especially for nuclear safety and especially in and around the technology and advancements of nuclear. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for the uh, holding this grand show. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after touring in the Westinghouse, we come to another important place. This is the China International Nuclear Fusion Energy Program Executive Center. It is a very special place because there is a very big 
international joint built science project, which is called ATER. And it is a fusion reactor built by 35 countries, including China. So we come into this part and let's see what's going on here. Because in, in the earlier, because we know earlier China uh, began to assemble the ATER, the main structure of the ATER of uh, this year. So for this uh, for this second largest design project developed by the international community, only next to the International Space Station, what China, what your center has done? Okay. Uh, uh, welcome to have uh, visit our exhibition. That is, that is the oh. ATER model. That is uh, the ATER model. The so what is ATER. the full name of ATER? The full uh, it means uh, International Nucle Thermonuclear Exper Experimental Reactor. Okay, so... so. Uh, in Latin, it means the way. So uh, in Latin, it means the way to bring the sun to the earth. Uh, for ITER, it, it aims to produce the uh, on the base of the principle of the sun, so bring uh, to produce the fusion uh, mm. on the world, on the sun, on the earth. So a lot of people say this kind of model is a, is a kind of man-made sun. Yes, man-made sun. So what, 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 why people would say that? Uh, so as you know, the principle of the sun and the star, it was the was the fusion. Okay. So uh, it was uh, appear uh, on the nature. So we would like to produce the same uh, the same sun on our Earth. So uh, mm. it aims to um, to prove the feasibility of the fusion yes. in a large scale and carbon free uh, style. Yes, yeah, so environment friendly. This is much more like that. We see a lot of the uh, the pictures showing. Uh, the Chinese leaders and Chinese um, some kind of the uh, officials trying to uh, contribute to the the ATER because this is a uh, the ATER star assembly celebration and delivered the congratulatory letters from President Xi Jinping the earlier this year. I also noticed that because our our radio station have also interviewed the part of that. So uh, besides this, I want you to demonstrate. Uh, want you to show us what's the difference between the fissure reactor and also the fusion reactor. What's the difference? Okay. Uh, mm. For fission and fusion, they are, uh, the same point is that uh, they can produce the large quantity of energy, uh, as we know. And the main difference is that uh, the fission, which is more popular as the uh, nuclear nuclear station, ah. uh, it, it, it's the process to uh, bring the uh, atom into two parts or more pieces. Okay. Uh, why in the process we can produce uh, the energy. However, the, fi uh, the fusion is that uh, to join the different atoms in together and uh, to produce the energy. Okay, okay, let's uh, pause a little while because we're going to show us other audiences a video clip on ATER. It was filmed earlier this year. So let's take a look on how the ATER uh, fusion reactor is a Zamblade. Let's take a look. Well, this is quite amazing. Uh, this, is, um, the first, this is the first time we see such a um, joint science project developed by 35 countries, um, including China. And uh, thank you so much for the, uh, for the efforts of doing that. So after the, the fusion reactor is produced, um, there's an, another important thing for people to understand is uh, for people to, to truly get closer to the nuclear science, for the general public to understand 
How do you usually do that? project it is still on the process of the experiment experimental reactor so it is still on the uh, it is still for the um, experimental so it was built in the south of france mm. and there are seven members to participate in the project oh. of which um, china is one of the most important particip participation mm. and uh, uh, for fusion it is not still on the process of commercial application okay so it's the difference I noticed that during the the, the opening ceremony of the NCS assembly a lot of countries um, the representative of a lot of countries attended that including the general public and they were quite amazed by the information by the news so what's what's the prospect of this fusion reactor how long it will be um, it will finish the process of research and development It's quite difficult for me to answer this question. Uh, uh, actually, uh, in, in China, uh, China is one of the seven members to uh, work for each project, and uh, uh, it's not for the. Some would say it's, it takes about 50 years. 50 years. Is it? Is that true? Uh, yes, it. Uh, uh, it was. It has four uh, phases to uh, to produce and to make the experiment and uh, then come to the commercial. So it takes a long time. Mm. Uh, as um, up to now, it is on the phase of construction. It lasts uh, um, uh, a long time. Yes, yes. yes, yes. And, uh, well, up to now, it, uh, we aim to have the first plasma in 2025. Okay, mm. so uh, this afternoon when I come to this expo, I found a lot of the uh, general audiences would feel surprised about these all the technology displays to them. Uh, most of them would have this question, is the te nuclear technology safe? Either the fissure technology or the uh, fusion reactors. So what do you think of that? Um, what is the best way for people to understand the, the science? Uh, actually, as a public, public I think that uh, in, for a public person, uh, we always think it's very dangerous to, to hear the fusion or fusion. Actually, uh, it is it is safe and can be controlled by by people by uh, the human human. Okay, so another way is uh, to use some kind of the uh, the the, uh, the simple way for people to establish the uh, the closer relation with the technology. So uh, uh, you earlier mentioned about there is a souvenir or something like this. So let's take a look. Uh, this is kind of the, uh, okay, so this is kind of the shop is selling the products related with the science, nuclear science technology. So let's come closer to that. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, we, we are really surprised by the, uh, the, the grand, the beauty of these products. Who introduced something to us? Uh, first, first, uh, thank you to uh, uh, visiting our booth. Yeah, I'd like to introduce one of our sample from here. Okay. This is the, uh, like a uh, uh, creative and uh, uh, culture and creative um, uh, products uh, designed by Follow One uh, 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 model. And uh, the name is Follow One model. And uh, it's an inspiration uh, from the uh, Follow One. Follow, follow one energy site and uh, okay. yeah, from the Fuqing, uh, energy, uh, Fuqing nuclear power station in Fujian province. Okay. Yeah. Is it the 3D model? Yes, yes, yeah. And also the material is the wood and this is paper. Yeah. <laughs> well, the different materials is yes, made yes. and we yeah. built into this kind of the toys or souvenirs, the wooden yes. one or the paper one. It is a nuclear island. Yes. The built right now with a yeah. one-on-one technology one, in Southeast China. The second one is the uh, mobile phone holder, also designed by the uh, uh, one-on-one. Lily, yeah. you, you have a try. Yeah, you, you use your phone to have a try. Put on your phone and uh, hold on. Yeah, turn this way. Yeah, whatever you can, if you like, this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, this is really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, why are we uh. making this? Uh, 
agriculture and uh, uh, creative products. So the, yes, that's the yeah. question we want to ask you. Yeah. Why you would make this? The reason because we want to more and more people to understand and uh, be familiar with the uh, what the nucle uh, nuclear energy can mm. bring to us. Okay. Like the uh, how to transfer from the nuclear energy okay. into the uh, 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 electric uh, energy in our life. Okay. Yeah, like this one. There's a new one. There's a very special one. This is LED light. Yeah, the whole story. Yeah, whole story like uh, uh, put on the sea water, uh, put in this uh, uh, pressurized water reactor, then transfer to the uh, an, uh, electric energy finally. Then in our life, the light can uh, using from the, this uh, uh, electric energy. Wow, so that's that is very useful for the and also application in our life. And okay. I think that it will be the gift for child yes, uh, yes. As, as a gift. Yeah. And a simple story, the parents can tell your kids, you know, the, from the how to nuclear, uh, yeah, and the power in our life to, you know. Okay, uh, Lily, yeah. do you have any particular interest on these games or the souvenirs? Yes, I see that it's a, a, a map. It's, it's, a game. it's the game of it's a board game. A board game. Yes. Uh, so this is a board game. Board game, yeah. Okay. But we also put many uh, nuclear power stuff in, in this map. Yeah. So, how do we play this board game? Yeah. Can you try? We yes, start. we want to yes, try. Okay. Uh, first, uh, we can begin from here, okay. and uh, we have the chess piece. So, uh, first, you can choose one. Okay, I want to the color. Pink. Yes. I will choose this yellow. I'll choose this one. Okay. So. Start from uh, here, okay. How should we start? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yellow is me, right? <laughs> uh, yellow is you, yeah, and uh, yeah. pink okay. is yeah, Lily. We also use the dice. Ah, uh, dice. Just the dice, for example. Ah, uh, this is, this is five. five. And Close you're me. One, yeah. two, three, four, uh, five. Yeah. Here. So you turn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a pink one. Yes, yes. Okay. And so what about turn. me? Yeah. It's one, a five. Two. Here, so yes, uh, yes. this is a general step yeah. for playing this game. But yeah. what about the next? Next one is the uh, next one is uh, for example, we also have some question marks here. Then uh, we put the card. We put some question. Uh, uh, how to say the? Uh, for example, here is the question mark on the, this side. Okay. Then, okay. Yes, Chinese means you can drop uh, one. Uh, you one more time. One more for example, time. me for one, one more time. Okay. I can, Move here, right? And so, also, like this one, we put uh, some uh, science and the technology and knowledge about the nuclear I got, power. I got it. Yeah. So when, when we have this kind of the uh, yeah. step yeah. onto the question yes. mark, for yes. example, yes. this right. one, right. Yes. we have to answer the question. Yeah. Yes. So what about this question? Question about, um, say, is the, oh, uh, do you know, how about the, uh, do you know the knowledge about the nuclear power, whether have the air pollution problem? Do you know this? I don't know. <laughs> Lily, perhaps you know the answer. Yes, I, I think, uh, sure, of course, it will not have the air pollution. Yes, great. It, it can be controlled. Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, so, bingo, the right answer. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. So, yeah, yeah. The finally, how to say, the major purpose, we get more energy, uh, nuclear energy. And uh, finally, you will become the winner here after you finish the whole steps, you know. Uh, this is destination. Yes. Yeah. Well, quite interesting. Yeah, it's it's very interesting games. Okay, very interesting <laughs> games for the yeah, public, yeah. for the, yeah, especially yeah. the kids, yes. to get to know this the yeah. science, technology, yeah. and, and the nuclear industry. The, uh, we also put the nuclear power, uh, how to say, instructions from in this map. Like uh, this one is the uh, electric uh, uh, station. Here is the uh, transformer uh, substation. Okay. And also this sign and the. Uh, Science Museum? Yeah, yes, yes, Museum. And also the uh, nuclear island. Oh. Yeah, so finally. So a lot of the interesting things in, yeah. in, inside this uh, the board game. Thank you so much for the introduction. Thank yeah, you very you're much. Welcome, you're welcome. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. So it is quite interesting to see yeah, all of these um, interesting things uh, introduced to the general public. What do you think of that? <laughs> I think uh, for the public, we can have very interesting ways to introduce the, the principle. Not mm. only fusion, but also our easy project. We can have more easy and more interesting ways to introduce them to the public. Uh, and before we go, because uh -huh. before we conclude this live streaming, I would say 
Thank you very much for all your contribute to the nuclear science and technology, especially for generating powers and also the future energy for your contributions to us all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing the live, re live streaming in Beijing Exhibition Hall this afternoon. We're at the event, which is called the Nuclear China 2020. This is an annual event on the industry. Well, so far we've seen the uh, China's latest, the third generation uh, nuclear power units de developed by the con Chinese companies. And also we see the second largest science project on the earth developed by 35 countries including China and also for the public's general public's knowledge to help them to get understand the science is technology so uh, this this extends to the other live streaming I hope you to understand help you to get some knowledge on this industry on this technology which brings benefits which brings convenience to our life thank you so much